Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making rustic bunny decor. I grabbed this piece of wood from Dollar Tree and just gave it a quick sanding, and then took home decor wax, brushed it on, didn't bother covering it completely, because then I take a baby wipe and just blend it all in, and I cover the entire thing that way. And next, I take this little felt bunny. It came from Dollar Tree in a package of bunny garland. So I just cut off that little pom-pom on the bottom and heated up the glue and removed it. And then I took Waverly chalk paint in sandstone and painted the side that did not have the glue on it and did two coats, drying it in between. Once both of those things were dry, I just hot glued the bunny right to the little piece of wood, kind of more towards the bottom because we'll be making a bow for the top. And then I hadn't moved fast enough, so I heated up the glue with my heat gun to make sure that everything was sealed down nicely. And then I have this little pom-pom that came in a package from Dollar Tree as well, and it was a little too big for the size bunny. So I just trimmed it down all the way around and then hot glued it to the bottom of the bunny. And next I wanted to fill in these little holes. So I took the sandstone chalk paint again and just kind of kept filling it in with the paint and drying it and then filling in it again just so it kind of matched well. And then I got this set of beads also from Dollar Tree. So I just cut the little ribbon off on the bottom and removed some of the beads so I could have that excess string. And then just flipped the board over and put a couple staples on each side of that twine. And then put some hot glue over the staples just to kind of protect the wall from the staples and to give it some extra stability. And then I needed to make my bow, so I just took a bunch of different ribbons and a fabric and pinched them in the center, scrunched them up really tight in the center, and then crisscrossed them in an X in my hand. Just kept holding that nice and tight, alternating the different ribbons and fabric until it was nice and full. Once it was nice and full, I took a piece of twine and wrapped it around the center where I was holding that together the entire time and just pulled that really tight and knotted it. And then I just moved around the ribbons and opened them up and fluffed them till it was nice and full and trimmed up any excess pieces that were hanging too long. Last thing I had to do was just glue on the bow right on the top of that piece of wood. And there you have it. This project was super fun to make. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This felt bunny in a pack of garland. These beads. Some mesh ribbon, 
this piece of wood, all from Dollar Tree, twine, some fabric and ribbons, and a little pom-pom from Dollar Tree, home decor wax, sandstone chalk paint, and hot glue.